Hey guys, Liz Baby Toe here. So, thank you so much for joining. I'm just back from vacation and my nose is still a little bit burnt. Kind of got the Rudolph nose thing going on. So if you are watching the replay, type in replay down below so I can say hello to you. Um, but today I want to talk about receiving. I'm going to jump right in because this is not going to be a really long video. So I want it to uh, be short and sweet. Okay, so I want to talk about receiving. So receiving your blessing. Maybe you've been praying about, believing for, working towards a certain goal and you are ready to receive that goal, but something is just not flowing right. Something is not, it's not coming to you. And today I was working with um, my coach and he brought up a very, very important um, thing to me. And I want to share it with you because I'm so excited because I really think this is going to bless you. I think it's going to help you. Um, he explained to me that the number one block for receiving is suspense, drum roll, guilt. Guilt is the number one block for receiving, okay? If we have an underlying um, guilt about anything it's going to block the receiving okay so i'm going to use my pen here as a demonstration for you okay uh, but before that let's talk about just for a second let's talk about ways to um, improve your energy level improve your frequency your vibration to put you in a state of receiving so if you watch some of my other videos you you know the answer to this question so tell me some ways that you can increase your energy level, increase your vibration, like you're in a bad mood. What are, name for me some ways that you can instantly put yourself into a better mood, a better energy level. So type it in the comments. I'll start spouting them off myself here, but I want you guys to answer. So what are some ways that you can raise your energy level? Before we talk about how how um, guilt plays in here come on guys y'all gotta type you gotta type okay so I'm gonna go ahead and while I'm waiting for you to type so th some ways that you can increase your energy level is dancing is a great way singing um, speak truths out loud absolutely especially the word of, of God quote those scriptures out loud there is power in the word absolutely so singing dancing speaking the word praying meditating taking a nap um, having sex going outside put your feet in the dirt going um, swimming water has its own magical frequency so getting in the shower taking a bath going for a swim going to the lake going to the ocean are you getting what I'm saying hug a tree hug a person these are all ways that you can raise your energy level. So if you can think of any other ways, top them in. Give people some ideas. Okay, so now let's talk about that. So we've raised our energy level. Let's say that you're now a 10. Zero is over here, 10 is over here, okay? You've danced, you've listened to your music. Right before I go live, I always dance around, listen to my music, plug put my earbuds in. So I'm at a 10 right now. My energy level is a 10. So I am open to receiving divine inspiration from God. I am open to receiving blessings. I'm open to receiving abundance, okay? So remember, here's another thing. When you are receiving, you are a receptor. You are receiving. You're literally like plugging into the source. So if you're at a zero on your energy level, you're, you're only going to get that blessing, that inspiration, those ideas trickling in at a... A, a drip but when you're at a 10 you're plugging in and those floodgates are open okay but let me t let's talk about guilt okay so zero to ten you've danced you you've got your energy level at a 10 so I'm gonna use a second pen okay so your energy level is way over here at 10 but your guilt level is at a seven okay so guess what you're really only working with this much energy because guilt is gonna block all of that guys is that huge or what guilt is gonna block the energy 
And it could be guilt about anything. It could be guilt about what you ate for lunch. It could be guilt about something that happened 20 years ago. It could be guilt about your relationship with your children. It could be guilt about your relationship with your spouse. It could be guilt about a, a fight you had two weeks ago with a coworker. It could be guilt about anything. But if you have underlying guilt, it's going to block it. My mind was blown because it makes perfect sense. Because I'm like, I've been getting my energy level up, but the, so I'm missing something. He goes, well, you're, you're feeling guilty about something. And I was like, whoa dead right okay so let's talk now about how to get rid of the guilt okay really quick confession removes guilt instantly confession removes guilt instantly so you can pray and confess and ask God to reveal to you what you need to release yep or uh, my coach actually teaches a method called the safe touch technique it's another way to remove guilt, okay? So whichever way you prefer, if you want to, if you want to go, go onto YouTube, type in Safe Touch Technique. His name is Matthew David Hurtado. He's my coach, and he has a method where he will teach you how to remove the guilt, okay? So guys, that's all I've got for you. I wanted this to be a short video. Please share it with people. Please make sure you're following me or friend request me so that you're notified whenever I share um, a video with you. So remember, are you open to receiving? You have to have two pieces to the puzzle. You have to have your energy level super high. So if you're moping around, you're negative, you're, you're um, you know, being judgmental, you're not in a good space, you're not going to be receiving, okay? Also, if you have guilt, you're not going to be receiving, okay? So get rid of the guilt, guys. I think this is going to be a real huge game changer for a lot of us. Get rid of the guilt. That serves no purpose, okay? I love you guys. Um, please share the video. All right, bye-bye.